So in this video, I will show you how you can easily create a smooth zoom transition using just your phone. If you stick till the end, I will also walk you through the entire editing process step by step using InShot, which is by the way, free and available for iOS and Android users so that you can follow along and create your own smooth zoom transition in your video. Now I wanna thank Artlist for sponsoring this video. More to them later. What's up mobile creators, Bennett with smartphonefilmmaking.com, taking your mobile video skills to the next level. As I mentioned today, I will show you how to create a smooth zoom transition. But before we do that, let's talk about what a smooth zoom transition is. It's basically a way of seamlessly transitioning between two clips by zooming in or out. You're probably familiar with the effect as many creators use it in their travel videos that make it really look epic and grab the attention of the viewers. Now, I use it in my travel videos as well, especially when creating those time lapses, which really adds more dynamic to it. Now, what I see beginners do a lot is that they overdo it by just slapping the smooth zoom effect on every clip without considering the context of the scene. Most of the editing apps nowadays provide the smooth zoom effect. However, if not used correctly, it can quickly look unprofessional and lose the attention of your viewers. That's why the first step in creating smooth zoom transition is planning ahead and getting it right in camera before adding the smooth zoom effect in the edit. So grab your phone and let's get to work. So let's talk about the camera settings. I'm using the iPhone 14 Pro. We will be using the default camera app and I'll be shooting in 4K 60 frames per second. 4K has a higher resolution than 1080p and also allows me to scale in if I need to without losing much quality. And 60 frames per second allows me to slow down the clip, which is great for creating speed ramps and also helps smoothen out any unwanted shakes. To create these uh, camera movements, you could either use a gimbal. For this video, I will be going handheld since the camera movements we will be doing are really not that long. And what I also have enabled are the rule of third, which helps with the composition and keeps your video leveled. What you also wanna do before you start your recording is to lock your focus and exposure. And to do that, just tap hold on the screen until AEAF lock appears. And this way, no changes will occur uh, while you're filming. And in terms of lenses, I'll be using the ultra wide angle lens as well as the standard wide angle lens because I want to record each clip in different perspectives. And the advantage of using the ultra wide angle lens, for example, is that it emphasizes the movement I create way I don't have to walk long distance, but will still show enough movement in my shot to help create the smooth zoom transition. The next thing I wanna talk about is planning your shots ahead. This is especially true when it comes to creating transitions for your videos. Now, there are lots of different transitions available. The smooth zoom transition, for example, is one of them. Once you understand how a particular transition works and what is needed, the filming process will become just much easier. And what I like to do is envision in my mind uh, the edit. This way I can plan the shots ahead for a particular transition and then sort of play back the shots in my head uh, to see if it would make sense. You don't have to memorize all of the transition shots you want to create. You can also make a simple shot list that you can write down on your phone to keep track of all the clips you need. So I'm now gonna bring you along. Let's look at how you can film with your phone to make the smooth zoom transition work best. The way how I like to do it is going from a wide shot into a medium or close up shot uh, or vice versa. And this is really a great way to zoom in or out to show you know the detail of a large scenery. Uh, for example. So keep in mind to change the perspective. Then you also want to consider the theme of each clip. They should be identical. They should have some sort of relationship. If I would record the lake, a wide shot of the lake and then create a zoom in effect into my apartment, it wouldn't make much sense because there's no real relationship between those two clips. How I would do it and would sort of support the story is I would film a wide angle shot of the lake and then zoom in maybe on a duck or so that is swimming 
on the lake. The next thing to consider is camera movement. You want to be moving in the direction you want the transition to go. This will make the zoom transition look more realistic. Also important is to keep your hands steady while holding the camera keep your camera close to your body. But if you find it difficult, you can also use a gimbal that can help you get more steadier shots. So let's now put everything into practice. So the idea would be going from a wide angle shot into a medium shot. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna choose the ultra wide angle lens and my focal point will be the hut over there. That is where I want to transition at and I will be shooting in 4K 60 frames per second. I'm gonna set and lock focus on the hut and because i will be transitioning in i'm actually going to create a push in shot or move forward to emphasize movement and this will help make the transition even more realistic so once we did that i'm gonna hit the record button and then slowly move forward and go And I'm gonna stop. And that is actually it for our first shot. And now for the second shot, I'm gonna get closer to the hut. And this time I'm gonna choose the wide angle lens. And I'm gonna use these plants as foreground. This will help emphasize the push in movement. And then I'm gonna center the hut in the frame. And then I'm gonna set and lock focus and exposure. And then once I'm ready, I'm gonna push in and go. Okay, and that was it. So let's now head back home and edit the video together. So we're now back at home. Let me now show you how to edit the smooth zoom transition using InShot. So let's get started right away. I'm gonna open up InShot and then I'm gonna select video and then I'm gonna choose the clips that we shot to create our zoom transition. So this will be our first clip and this one our second one and then hit the green check mark. And as you can see, it now has been added to our timeline. And the next thing I'm gonna do is trim the clips. We're just gonna use the best parts of it. So I'm gonna select the first clip, then I'm gonna choose pre-cut. And this allows me to trim the in and out point of a clip. So I'm gonna trim the clip starting over here. And I'm gonna end the clip, I think around here. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit the check mark. And then I'm gonna select the second clip and do the same thing again. I'm gonna head over to pre-cut and I'm gonna trim it to where I start moving right over here. And then I'm gonna trim the out point, which is over here. Okay, I'm gonna hit the check mark. The next thing I'm gonna do is remove the volume on both clips. So I'm gonna head over to volume and then I'm gonna reduce it all the way to zero. And then I'm gonna hit the double check mark, which will apply it to the first clip as well. So I'm gonna select apply to all. The next thing I'm gonna do is create a speed ramp. We wanna start slow and then speed up and then slow back down again. And this again will help improve the smooth zoom transition. So I'm gonna select the first clip and then I'm gonna select speed. And since we shot it in 60 frames per second, I can slow it down to 50. And then on the left side, you have the smooth button, which will help uh, smoothen out, you know, any unwanted shakes. Make sure to select that. And then we're gonna head over to curve and then we're gonna speed up a portion of the clip. I have my timeline over here and then I can sort of decide where I want to speed up the clip. So I actually wanted to start speeding up over here. So I'm gonna drag this point up all the way to around six. I'm gonna select this point and delete it. And then I'm gonna take this point and drag it all the way to around six. I'm gonna drag this point a little bit more to the right, like so. Let's now play it back. All right, that looks good. 
I'm gonna do some fine adjustments later. I actually wanna trim the ending a little bit more, but for now, this should be good. And once I'm done, I'm gonna hit the check mark. So after it has been processed, let's head over to the second clip, select speed. We're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna reduce it all the way to 50% and slow the clip down, select smooth, and then we're gonna head over to curve. And for the second clip, we're gonna start fast and then slow down again. So I'm gonna select this point and then I'm gonna drag it all the way up to around, let's say, let's try six. Select this point and delete it. And I'm gonna drag this point all the way up to around six. And let's now play it back. This looks good, actually. There is a little shake at the beginning, which we can trim away. So let's hit the check mark and let it process. Let's now play it back. So we can prove on this by trimming the beginning part of the second clip. So I'm gonna drag this handle to the right. Think over here, and then I'm gonna select the first clip and drag the ending and shorten it a little bit. So let's play it back. Whoosh, all right. And this doesn't look too bad at all. So now that we have created our speed ramp, we can now apply the smooth zoom in effect. And you can see between the two clips, you have this diagonal line. So click on that. And then we have different transitions available. And I'll be choosing this one over here, which is the zoom in transition. And I can actually reduce the duration. This looks great. I'm gonna leave it at 0.2 seconds. I'm gonna hit the check mark. Now to make this video come more alive, um, I'm actually gonna add music and sound effects. One of the most questions I get asked is where do I get my music and sound effects from? When it comes to searching for high quality music and sound effects, Artlist is my go-to platform. I've been using their platform for quite a long time now. They have over 30,000 songs available that you can use right away for any of your video projects. They take care of all copyright issues so you don't have to worry about it. On top of that, Artlist makes it really easy for you to find the perfect song because not only do they sound all good, but you can filter them down by genre, mood, and video theme, which in the end saves you a lot of time. And sound effects are also something I use frequently in my videos that really adds production value. And when it comes to creating transitions, sound effects are crucial as it adds realism and helps emphasize the transition. Now, you could use sound effects provided by InShot. However, you are limited and they do sound cheesy. So really with Artlist, you can download unlimited high quality sound effects, which you can use over and over again in your projects. So let me now show you how I would search for music and sound effects on Artlist so that we can add them to our smooth zoom transition. Now guys, if you're interested, I do have a link below that you can check out where you can get two months additionally for free. So this is Artlist's website. Uh, I'm gonna head over to music and I usually like to pick the mood first. So we're gonna go for uplifting. And the next thing I like to choose is a genre. And for this transition video, I'm gonna choose cinematic. And you do have other genres, but usually these two will already lead me to a good song. And then I can just pick one. Um, over here, you also have a description. So let's try out cinematic electronic. And then I can also skip it if I want to. All right. So I think I'm gonna add the transition right at this point. So let's go for the Gloom by Michael FK. This sounds really good. I'm gonna download that. And I think this song really fits with the vibe uh, of where I shot the video at the lake. And the next thing I'm gonna do is search for sound effects. So I'm gonna head over up here and then I'm gonna choose short wishes. These are really great for transitions. And what I'm also gonna add in the description is a zoom. Try this one. Oh yeah, that sounds great. Download. What I also wanna add is some atmosphere. So I'm gonna clear those tags and then I'm gonna type in lake. And then let's choose this one. 
Oh yeah, this fits really well. I can hear the ducks, the wind. Oh yeah, this would sound perfect. So I'm gonna download this one. So in my downloads folder, I have my music and uh, sound effects. So I'm first gonna airdrop the song. I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna right click on it and then choose share and then head over to airdrop. And then I'm gonna select my phone and I'm gonna airdrop it into InShot. So I'm gonna select InShot. And then because it's a song, I'm gonna select music and then hit okay. And then I'm gonna also import uh, both of the sound effects. So I'm gonna choose both, right click on it, choose share, and then airdrop it. Select my phone. I'm gonna choose InShot and select effects because there are sound effects and then hit okay. All right, and that's all there is to it. So let's head back, hit the check mark, and we're first gonna add the song. So I'm gonna head over to import it, and then I'm gonna select the song, select use, and it now has been added to our timeline. And I'm now gonna edit the song. So I'm gonna select edit, and then I can choose the in and out point of the clip. So just as the beat drops right over there, I want the transition to happen. That's where I want it to drop. And then I'm gonna select the out point. Drag it all the way over here. And then I'm gonna reduce the volume to around 70. All right, and then I'm gonna add a fade in as well. Let's say, let's go for two seconds and a fade out of two seconds. Hit the check mark. And I'm gonna drag the song all the way to the left. And to align the music better with the clip, you can actually zoom in as well to really see where the beat drops. So right over here. Okay, so let's now play it back. Nice. I'm gonna trim the ending of this clip. So I'm gonna select it, hit split and delete it. Let's now add our sound effects. So I'm gonna head over to effects and then I'm gonna choose imported. And we're first gonna add the whoosh, select use. And again, I can zoom all the way in. And then I can drag this part to where the transition is happening, right over here. Let's play that back. I don't like this particular sound effect for this transition. So I actually downloaded another one. I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna head over to effect and then I'm gonna choose import it and I'm gonna choose this one. It's a more deeper sound effect. So let's use this one. And then again, I'm gonna align it. And let's play it back. Yeah, this is way better. I'm gonna select it and then choose edit and I'm gonna reduce the volume to around, let's go for 60. Let's play it back. Nice. The next thing I'm gonna add is some ambient sound. So I'm gonna head over to effects and then I'm gonna choose imported and I'm gonna select the ambient lake. And then I'm gonna reduce the volume to around, let's go for 30. Let's play it back. It's just this subtle uh, sound that you hear in the background that makes the video a little bit more alive. Again, I'm gonna trim the ending of it select a split and then delete it. And then I'm gonna select the ambient sound, head over to edit and then add a fade in. Let's go for five seconds and a fade out of five seconds. Okay. And the last thing we need to do is apply a color filter. So let's head back, choose filter, and then I'm gonna head over to filter and then I'm gonna choose film and I'm gonna select film number one. I think this looks great. I'm gonna reduce the intensity to around 70 and I'm gonna select the double check mark to also apply to the second clip. And then I'm gonna hit the check mark again. I find that the first clip is a little bit too cold. So I'm gonna select it, head over to filter and I'm gonna make some small adjustments. I'm gonna select adjust and first of all, I'm gonna bring up the exposure all the way to around 25. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of warmth into the shot because it's quite cool compared to the second clip. I can also check the before and after. So this looks really great. Hit the check mark. 
hit the check mark again. All right, this looks way better now. And the last thing we need to do is to export our video. So head over to the uh, export button on the top right. And then we are going to choose um, 30 frames per second to then upload it onto social media and then hit the save button. And here are the final results. So there you have it guys, that is how you film and edit a smooth zoom transition with your phone. Now there are many other great transitions out there that you can use to add visual interest to your mobile videos. Inside my course, I break down some of the most common ones and show you how to film and edit these transition using your phone. Now the course has over 170 plus tutorials and keeps growing. So if you're thinking about speeding up the learning process, head over to smartphonefilmmaking.com and start making amazing content and using just your phone. If you have any question, guys, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. You all have a great day and I'll see you guys the next time.